So how does a student get involved with Engineering Without Borders? We have member meetings every month on the second Thursday of every month. And also we hang flyers. So if you don't remember that, you can see our flyers hanging around not just the EMS, but all around campus. Because Engineers Without Borders isn't just for engineers. We have marketing students and education students, nursing students. So we're really trying to encompass the whole campus. In your opinion, uh, what do you think, like, how useful is it as an engineer to have a second language or to know a second language? I think it's incredibly useful. I just took part in a conference in Germany with a project that I was a part of in India and Malaysia working on biocoagulation of wastewater and 30 teams from all over the globe met in Germany to present our projects to help the developing world. And that was only 30 teams of 900 people. But to see 30 teams, so 60 people, get together and all the languages we could speak, there was one man who couldn't speak anything but Spanish. And, you know, he, he sat in the corner a lot. But once people started to figure that out, we could, those of us who spoke Spanish could communicate with him. And there's People who, I guess I would say that it's the more languages you can speak, the better, because people have ideas, and it's so important to share those ideas and those innovations. And just to think that I'm, I get to be a very small part, or I get to see a very small part of other cultures because of that, has made my life a lot more interesting and enjoyable. Are you involved in any projects that encourage young ladies to pursue engineering? Yes, that's a great question. At UWM, we just secured a grant through the uh, College of Engineering and Applied Sciences from the National Science Foundation that helps us uh, recruit and retain young women and also minorities to the School of Engineering. And we do things, um, we've created these special programs that um, for all freshmen, but that includes study groups and the Living Learning Community and the Summer Bridge Program, which I know you were a part of, um, that hopefully will increase that retention because we've found out through our limited, what we've done that's limited so far, that um, with the increase of women in engineering, that um, it's, it's better for, for everyone, really. Um, men like it more, women like it more. It's, it's a more rounded a discipline that way. Well, thank you very much for coming with us today. It was so great to learn about everything that you've done. It's just fascinating to learn of all the places you can travel to and really use this and just get like, just make connections, just have first-hand experience. Mm -hmm. It's just really interesting. Well, thanks a lot, Bye. It was my pleasure.